God bless you all in the name of our Father, Yeshua HaMashiach. I pray you all have been well and blessed and steady in covenant about Father's business and keeping care, you know, of working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I wanted to come on and speak about Trump to give my thoughts, my take, because it's important for us as the sheep who follow the lamb wherever he goes to know our lane and keep in our lane, ultimately above all and overall. I am grateful that Trump, you know, wasn't hurt on that day. Um, his ear getting grazed at worst was the work of our father being over him because the odds of getting just grazed with the weapon that was used to take him out is not common. However, someone did actually die that day. They were killed. They were not fortunately able to live the circumstances. And our heart goes out to the family of the man who was shot and killed, which I think is unfairly and rudely being overlooked because his life, his existence, his purpose also mattered to a family too. But it was a sad day seeing the spirit of hate to yet again afflict itself. Um, and it did take out someone that it wasn't intended. It was an intended victim that was uh, caught in the crossfire, but our hearts and our prayers go out for the family who lost the man who was killed. And I want to come on to say uh, to my daily striving in holiness and obedience and repentance family that we should mind our godly lane and do our best to not stray from it. We should be praying and accepting and allowing God's will, whatever it is to be done, stand in our lane of our prayer closets because it is easy. It's very easy, in fact, to go astray of our own lanes. Personally, for me, when it when it comes to Trump, Again, personally, for me, uh, he's a very dangerous man to become involved with in a way of association uh, of support or any allegiance uh, to. He's he's really not good for me and where I stand and my relationship with father. Trump is so worshipped. He is the people's champ right now and, and he's their savior. And I see why, because, you know, he is the hope that will avoid any trouble to other things people hold dear in their heart, uh, which is fear and money. Mostly, you know, Trump's Trump makes the fear or will make the fear go away by quote unquote, making America great again. So we can feel at ease, nice and cozy here. And he will help us to keep our money or save our money because our money wasn't running out. You know, we didn't have to make financial choices under under him when he was president like we're making financial choices right now under Biden. So I get that. And that's what he really represents to the people. And none of those things are really bad things. On one hand, people look to look towards protectors to keep them safe all the time. And people look to have money so they can provide and do this and that with the problem for me is that it can really get easy to it can really get easy to have the lines crossed to get caught up in the reliability of those things um and look to one man for those things to not be threatened uh to make those things um not threatened to solve and fix those things that are a threat to us uh for me personally uh, I don't want that. I don't want to make Trump that fixer for me. I, I don't want to rely on Trump to make me feel I don't have to be scared uh, because of what he is capable of doing or because of what he will do. I'm not of the world. You know, I choose the new Jerusalem that is coming. So make America great again really has no bearing on me. But what happens um, when at a, at a time, Trump can't fix things or can't save things. You know, you're stuck with fear and no peace unless Trump can fix that for you. Uh, and, you know, my father, he has given me a spirit of peace um, for some years now throughout what's been taking place in this world that year by year has only gotten worse and dark, darker over time around here. Uh, that has everybody scared even more as as another year goes by. Um, but I'm not scared, uh, and I don't intend to fix what is not what is not broken. 
in that area because Father has blessed me with the spirit of peace uh, and I have no spirit of fear. Uh, and a few years ago, I asked Father to take away the dependability the dependability and security of money in my life. I didn't want to any longer because I knew it was it was coming first. But I didn't want to make money my safety net, my savior, because with money you feel in some ways unt untouchable, unstoppable, and it does become the savior, the solution over God. And I I knew that a few years ago that it was, and that I had more trust in my money that I made to, to see me through them father I knew that that's why I prayed father take this that is that is more to me than you away from me and I knew I had to take care of that so uh, I can't support Trump for that type of motive either uh, father has blessed me to where even if I don't have I still have him and yes the flesh will try to you know make you take back on worrying about money or having money or making money but I am practicing more trust in Father, whether I make money or have money or not. And that is something for me that I choose in continuing to live out and practice in my life. Uh, plus, there are other things about Trump that really don't give motive to get me involved. There is no balance of humility on top of arrogance. It's just arrogance. And I will be the first to say he was a good president and a better president than than what we have right now. But as a result, arrogance has and will only increase. And it might be factual uh, arrogance and evidence to the to the fact. Uh, but I know the spirit of pride and arrogance um, and I see it as in and and him and others are in a way justifying it, which is a red flag in itself because none of us are, are are you know good or bad or justified in anything. So when throwing shade or picking fun at the other side comes out of the mouthpiece through what he and others believes is justifiable. I don't want to be in association with it. I live to hold my tongue now. I have no desire to make fun at someone else regardless of how right I am or was in regards to them. I have to, by the power and, and grace of God, keep the spirit of humility, which is vital in the life of a believer. Um, I have to keep that present over something coming from a prideful, haughty place. Or even if that's the case of a prideful, haughty place inside the heart of others, I want nothing to do with that. And Trump, like many, have such a disdain and bitterness, resentment, and hate even towards the Democrats. And I I get it. It's not a mystery. Democrats have such a spirit of, of hate, hypocrisy. They are liars. And ultimately, they are of the Antichrist spirit in one group. And they have done Trump and others so dirty. So hate, bitterness, you know, resentment is going to and have and will gonna is, is gonna spew out of the mouth uh from 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 trump from his party from others uh in a tone coming from a speech or in a conversation because it's not right hasn't been right in regards to what democrats are doing what they have done uh and they're just beep 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 but in order to to go there you have to have something inside of you that produces it the bible tells us out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks trump feels and millions feel like he's been the victim he's he is being justified so when he throws shade i can't co-sign that one i know where it's coming from and two i don't have the same temperament uh, or or the same hate i feel differently in the way of pity for these people and, and and just you know praying for god's mercy for them all glory to god you know this is the goal i have been praying for and trying to reach and and, and wanting to live out so um for myself to the power and grace of father to help me to do so i'm grateful that i have that heart uh but if we don't feel the same way about an enemy or the other side in a way that is mutually christ-like i i don't support that i won't be association to that i want nothing to do with bitterness and hate having been delivered of some of my own why would i want to associate myself with someone who is probably stemming from that in the way he comes off along with many plus the debate 
with Trump and Biden that they did not too long ago. Trump admitted that he is not for abortion, but he supports the abortion pill. Personally, for me, that's still supporting abortion because the pill does differently, but the same thing uh, abortion does when you go to a doctor to have one done so to me that's riding both sides of the fence and again personally for me i can't support that i can't co-sign that and i'm not many will many will overlook that because overall trump will bring peace and and take so many out of their affliction that has been unrelentlessly stroked under biden and, and give him a pass for it and overlook it i'm not willing to do that i, I can't father revealed to me years ago that I was um, that I was still headed for hell had he taken me out and he did take me into the realm of hell for a for a past sin uh, and other sins but uh, one particular sin um, he showed me my fate had he taken me out and even though when I was brought out at the time I you know I was no longer living in that one particular sin uh, I came out of that uh, but I had made no acknowledgement of the sin to repent for for the times I was sinning for the sin. And I'm saying that to say if you're still under punishment for something you no longer do that is sinful or something you're unaware of, it still doesn't matter. We have to atone for every sin or every association of sin. And I'm, I'm a new creature in Christ now. I can't associate with people where it's not coming from or being followed from a godly place. My heart is not is not at a, at a point to where for the sake of whatever Trump can offer me, I'm willing to compromise it, you know? And for me, obviously, clearly Trump does not, you know, really offer me anything. He doesn't really hold a bearing uh, to me. Um, but I know I will be glorifying the same, the same heart that I know speaks from a strong dislike or a hate on top of arrogance uh, that he always projects. And I get it. There there has been many wrongs and um, people have been out to get him. And um, the way he speaks, there, there is no, let's just pray for them and move on like a typical, you know, Christian needs to do. There, there's, there's throwing shade. Um, you know, you, you can tell him and others are they they can't stand the other side. And I just I don't want to be guilty of that association. I have to be careful who I align myself with, as we all do, and not compromise for who we are aligning ourselves with who are contrary to the ways of our father or to his standard. Personally, for me, I just can't and I won't. And I don't see I just don't see how supporting Trump for me will not have me going against father I don't see how I won't be able to not compromise something in my walk in Christ supporting Trump that's why I said personally for me he is dangerous to to me in my walk because it's, it's so easy to just get wrapped up in one person to make it all great again one person who makes you feel like there's hope and it's going to be okay and he has your back and he's on your side and you can trust in him because he represents everything that calms your nerves and relieves your fear or will save you money um, so you can afford to provide so it's, it's easy to want from one man to, to have that and believe in that and get caught up in that because that's what you're seeing that's what you're able to see in the physical with your carnal eyes God is our savior, but you never know what he's going to do. You can't see what he's doing because he requires patience and faith on him to where you, you can see a man. You can see his actions. You can see how he moves and, and man can give you dates and times and tell you exactly when and where, where he comes from, right when you need the when and where. Um, so I get why there's there's more accommodation in the way of the carnal eye observation. But for me personally, you know, I came to know the straight and narrow living my whole life, trusting man, godly men at that and relying on them who were false and wrong the whole time. That's why God needs to be that person in our lives that we feel that way for, not man. And we can't share him like that. He is a jealous God. Now, I love Trump. I love Biden too, even though clearly Biden is not on the same team 
as I am. He is very wicked. But I want him too to be saved. I wish he knew Christ. I live and lived for Christ, uh, even though he clearly doesn't. But I'm saying this to say, even though I don't support Trump or just politics, really, I, I want everyone to be saved and know Jesus Christ and truly live to follow him. So I'm not trying to bash Trump. I'm just giving my take on him where I stand for anyone who cares to know. I'm not into politics. I'm not even nearby on the outside sitting sitting down on my lawn chair looking at the arena of politics. I'm way over there observing what Father is allowing and praying by observing him more than what the carnal eyes see. For me, it's good that Trump will be president, not for reasons many rely on and, and are hoping for, but because clearly Father, by that, uh, allowing him to be president will give us more time. Uh, not to live our best life ever, but to go in harder for others in the body of Christ and outside of it too, in spirit and in prayer and go harder in praying, um, just crushing the enemies of darkness that surround us on every side, you know, praying for the mercy of many lost souls to become saved, uh, to know and follow Yeshua for the sake of their salvation. For me, that is the good news with him being president. And that's where it stops because nothing is going to change. The Holy Spirit is still still telling me about what's, what's to come as he did in 2019. And there is no mention of what many think will come when Trump gets elected. To me, when I saw Trump's ear, how he got grazed, I knew Father was over him because he is using Trump. Now to others, that means something else out of a biasness out of their own heart or out of something uh, they're carrying that Trump, that Trump, the representation of Trump accommodates. The fact that Trump is not dead solidifies that he is God's chosen to many to make what they want or exalt even more greater in their hearts. And Trump is chosen, but for the will of God at this time in the age, not for man to have what man wants. And there is a distinct difference if we are able to get that and discern that. And I'm not making this video to sway anybody, but only to advise anyone listening to take it to prayer while keeping in your lane. I can't say I support Trump, but I will be praying that God's will upon him. That doesn't have me gain anything from what I can feel and have in this world to make me happy, but God's will and his will alone, whatever it is, whether it results this way or that way for me, but his will for Trump rather than my own Team Trump horse in the game or the race, I pray Father's will be done in regards to Trump as I stay back and continue to pray and intercede during this period while we still have time. And I will continue to pray that Father keeps protecting all of us from the forces of darkness uh, in this world so that we can continually be blessed to move in positions that will move many hearts towards believing in Jesus and following Jesus and accepting Jesus and knowing Jesus and loving Jesus, serving Jesus, worshiping Jesus, praising Jesus. Um, personally, I believe that is our lane. We are not to get caught up in this mess, but to stand at a distance from it, out of it while seeing the Lord's hand in it and praying accordingly while there is still time for many lost souls, while also working out our own salvation, praying for more to be purged out of us, if more to not Father's liking still be in us. And with consistent prayer and purging, that takes up a lot of time and space in one's life that becomes a process we go through that will make things going on in the world a distraction to us. So we are not bothered or getting caught up in anything through much of our own time spent in, in covenant in our very own self-examination and time of repentance and deliverance and that becomes a process and a healing process and all of these things that leaves you more focused on father and your growth in him therefore more time in your prayer life for yourself as well as others is is our lane we need to focus more on and in for those who are doing that we are the ones preparing and we can pray for those in politics on both sides, but Father's will is, is not for us to, to go back living life cozy, is to, to get prepared. The Spirit is constantly telling me about the abomination of desolation. I keep getting that in my spirit. Father is constantly showing me and leading me in regards to, to that one, well, well, that phrase, pretty much, abomination of desolation. I'm getting that constantly, constantly and it's being confirmed when I, you know, 
asked the Holy Spirit to lead me and guide me in the Bible, Mark 13, Mark, Matthew 24, talking about the abomination of desolation. I'm getting it a lot. Uh, and you know, it's it, it's still coming. It was coming long before I started my walk, and it's still coming down the road. And that is everything that the book of Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Jeremiah foretells and in the book of Revelation speaks. It's coming. And praying for mercy for the sake of others at this time who are lost but can be through our prayers, prayers saved is what can move our father's heart because we we have to work the harvest in regards to that if we are in love with father we know he loves souls he wants souls for the kingdom we have been changed to love souls even the souls of our enemies so praying that many come into repentance for the sake of their soul is the most important thing and if trump is elected we have a little more time to do that and i could predict what i think or believe uh, and so can you and so does others but guys it doesn't matter none of that because God's will for Trump is his business and his alone unless he reveals it to his prophets and his messengers which we should take always that into prayer for confirmation but even in that even if even in that particular order what matters since none of us know truly or fully what will happen down the road until it plays out you know let us not worry about predicting it let's not worry about the end game let's stay focused and work on ourselves and intercede for our brothers and sisters in in order to be ready when it's all said and done you don't get a cookie for being right and knowing first and predicting it the way it came out you know how well did you prepare spiritually faithfully and of course importantly prayerfully when it all plays out how well did you prepare in those areas and and there is still time to do so that's how we can get ready and prepare ourselves and be ready for what comes or implodes upon us let's keep trump in our prayers let's keep everyone in our prayers not just trump let's, let's stay in our lane as a sheep following the only one shepherd who is the only one who will save us our lord and savior our messiah our deliverer yeshua hamashiach god bless you guys shalom